Hello, my name is Ryu Odong from Korea. I actively work as a member of KCDA, Korea Clothal Association. I am overwhelmed with joy to start a new chapter of my life by joining the other conference. You will see that my doors look humble and simple. I want my doors to become vehicles to talk about humans. I am also interested in the convergence of dolls and other art forms, such as paintings, textures, and even literature. As a doll artist, I make my dolls in my own way. I embroider their eyes, eyebrows, and lips, and put prominent noses on their flat faces. I name them Durubi, which means shining or around. Through some trial and error, I learned to make my own jointed cloth dolls. I use just basic materials like threads, buttons, and felt to connect their joints on the knees, elbows, and wrists. My dolls are all connected with each other like family, friends, and neighbors. They are not just dolls, but characters that can think and act like humans and live together in a village in my storybooks. Different characters need different styles and materials. These dolls wear Korean traditional costumes. These are elves and fairies living in the forest. Nine butterfly fairies called bee have wings on their backs and antennae over their heads. These are mini jointed cloth dolls that have wooden ball joints. These dolls stand for the humans living on Earth. The octagonal mark in the middle of the circle is a symbol of Turve, the territory where the dolls live. The nine colors, including the white circle in the center, represent the diversity of dolls in Turve. Turubia is a group of dolls, except Turubi. These dolls are made with chipped mugs, wine bottles, kitchen towel holders, and so on. I try to take advantage of the upcycling idea to make dolls. Now, let me talk about my idea about convergence. This map helps you understand my idea. Most importantly, my dolls are the core, and they are surrounded by illustration, textile design, doll making activities, woodcraft, exhibitions, and storytelling. Although I'm not an expert illustrator, I draw the very scenes that I imagine. This is the Ruby Gallerium, which is a swan-like building. I have a dream to build a doll museum just like this. This is the main village in Durubei where the dolls live. It is a kind of blueprint of Durubei theme park that might become a reality in the future. This picture is an acrylic painting. I hung out natural dyed fabrics on the stitched cloth lines. This is a castle where Queen Oli ladies and some bonny girls live, so I embroider them on the wall. This painting is used to show the convergence of acrylic painting and embroidery. This is a miniature furniture for my dolls. I love curved lines, so I had to learn how to use a jigsaw to make this furniture. This miniature house is for my dolls, and this tree is a painted with quilt patterns on the surface. Painting on wood is an idea to show the convergence of wood crafting, painting, and quilting. Using Photoshop, I design small textile patterns to make doll plots. The original images are from my illustrations. These are doll dresses are made with my textiles. I designed cut and sew textiles for beginners to make dolls easily in my doll making class. These are more challenging cut and sew textiles. The left one is for a body, and the right one is for her clothes and shoes. People can make a doll with just two yards of cut and sew fabrics. There are five characters now. Since 2017, I have been holding my doll exhibitions every year. I think dolls are the golden keys of communication. Doll exhibitions help people summon their memories in childhood and feel happy. Now, my invitational exhibition is being held at Story Miniature Museum in Haiti Art Village, Paju. In 2018, I published my storybooks. I designed the covers of the books to show Durbi Gallerium and Dolpia Durbe through the windows. I'm very honored to have a chance to introduce myself to all the members of NIADA, and I'm looking forward to meeting you all in Seattle next year. Thank you.
Anya Mania is a creative duet of twin sisters, Anna Fanasieva Grigoryeva and Maria Kalegova Grigoryeva. Members of the Creative Union of Artists of Russia, the Artist of the Office Dolls. Anna and Maria studied at an art studio from early childhood, from six years old. When they were 12 years old, they entered an art school where they have studied for four years. In 2003, sisters graduated from Kazan Theatre College, an artist technologist, a decorator, a puppeteer. Since then, Maria and Anna have been creating Efforts Dolls professionally. They have been working on common projects using mixed technique. They prefer static, generous sculpture in the grotesque style. Since 2007, they are regular participants in Moscow, Russian and international puppet exhibitions. The works are in private collections and in the funds of Russia, Europe and America and awarded with prizes and awards. All works are created by hand without using ready-made forms in mixed technique. Papier mache, paper clay, wireframe, acrylic, watercolor, pastel painting, and natural tresses. Natural fabrics and antique lace are often used in the works. A joyride tells stories about the simple and the most important things, about the moments of happiness in the daily routine of village life. A dashing race is taking her beloved to the edge of the world. With ruddy cheeks, besotted with speed and freedom, she doesn't care at all while she's rushing forward. She is confidently squeezing the motorcycle handlebars, as if she had seized her fortoon and luck by the tail. This composition captures the flirtation between the Black King and the White King. The Black King is hiding a flower behind his back as a present for a beautiful woman. This composition depicts majestic and splendid winter in a female form. She is gently sprinkled with snow, as if wrapping up with a warm, motherly smile, admiring the winter fun watching from the top down. It is our ironic view on the modern world order. The hunt for a man who is being treated as a wild beast is continuing up to this day. The wild beast feels his power in the modern jungle and he has no equal. However, who is the real game and who is the hunter? A question that has no answer for many thousands of years. You can see two various who are the ancestors of ancient surnames. The noble ladies are from opposing clans. The key idea of this composition, architecture, is frozen music. Here we try to combine sculpture with elements of architecture, music and theatre. The prototype of the female image in this work was the great opera diva Montserrat Caballé. The opera in our conception is a top of theatrical and musical art. The presence of baroque elements of sculpture with a heavy velvet curtain, luxurious costume, is harmonious with the intensity of patience, emphasized by tragedy in the face expression, dynamic movement, and general musicality of the work. The work represents a dilapidated city in a female form full of ancient symbols. She is beyond time. With a placid look and squinting her eyes, she is continuing to build her gargoyles. Pizza San Marco is one of the brightest architectural masterpieces. We depicted a strolling Venetian girl at the time of Connie Wells, who is fascinated by the sounds of a flute. This work is also from the series Hunting for Men. It depicts internal contradiction of masculine and feminine forms in the image of a hunter wary and a wild beast. War paint, passion and impulse are faithful companions of the modern Amazon women. <laughs>